Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm actually on Instagram over here. And if you guys haven't checked out Ready for a Duel already, because I'm on their Instagram page, you guys should definitely check them out. If you guys haven't checked me out on Instagram, you guys should check me out on Instagram too. But the reason I actually bring them up is because you guys saw a video yesterday where I pretty much just talked about my initial thoughts of these new elemental hero cards or the Neo support. And basically, I just said they kind of suck. And in all honesty, I'm still sticking by that opinion because I still don't think they're very good cards. And I'm saying that I'm in a general standpoint from them being Neo support, right? Now, there are a couple decent cards, but you have to think about it as like a deck in itself. And that's what I meant by like as a hero, as a hero deck or as hero support, it's not really that good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go through the cards one by one just because I wanted to give you guys more of an explanation as to why I think some of these cards are not great, why I think some of these cards are okay, but still don't fit into the archetype itself, and give you guys why a reason for like casual play even. And, and I think a lot of casual players are mistaken and think like, hey, this doesn't need to be tier one to be fun and blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying it has to be tier one. I never said it had to be tier one. What I was trying to say though is that it doesn't make sense. Now, a, a lot of casual players I feel like might not know this when it comes to the game just because they don't play more competitively but the thing is even at a casual level if the deck doesn't function then what's fun about it even at a casual level like casual is having fun you want to have fun when you're playing casual so if the deck doesn't function what's what's fun about it really right all right so i'm gonna go through one card at a time i know that was kind of a longer intro my bad for that but uh i did want to explain it to you guys a little bit more so here is the first card that we're gonna be talking about I wake up your e-hero i feel like this is not going to be the name of the tcg but more than anything the reason i want to talk about this card is because this is one of the very few cards that is kind of decent so here the effect pretty much says it's one elemental hero fusion monster plus one warrior monster which automatically sucks because you have to use a fusion but if you think about omni heroes they can put up fusions pretty easily so it's not the worst thing in the world it's not great but it's not the worst thing in the world right now it must be fusion summon against 300 attack for each fusion material used for this summon this card can make a number of attack on monsters each battle phase up to the number of fusion monsters that was used for its material right so this is pretty good because the the most important thing about this card is that it's a not a bad miracle fusion target especially because it has elemental hero in the name so you can make this off of miracle fusion which is really powerful and some like sunrise can search miracle fusion the problem is a lot of the hero boards don't really set up fusion monsters in the graveyard for when they want to make something like this now i'm not saying it's impossible they definitely probably can do it let's be honest but what i'm saying is this just gives you another option more so for miracle fusion but it doesn't really add anything to your deck that your deck was missing right uh the second effect is if this card battled the monster after damage calculation you can destroy that monster so if the monster happens to be bigger attack you still get to destroy it and then you get to inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack and then if this fusion summon card is destroyed special summon a warrior monster from your hand or deck okay so it has a floating effect which is kind of nice it has this effect as well where if it can't out a monster it can kind of destroy it afterwards but the thing is again with this effect is it's kind of weird where essentially it's kind of like the only use for it is that it's a miracle fusion target and that's like trying to OTK your opponent. That's really it, to be honest with you. So yes, the card is not bad in theory, but it doesn't add anything, right? Now, the thing is, this in Omni Heroes is not bad, again, because it's a Miracle Fusion target, but this as Neo support and as hero support in general for, for what we got is not good. And you guys will see why in a second, why it doesn't make sense. But so here we have the other cards over here, and I think there's eight more cards. So I'm going to go through one by one. This might be a little bit of a longer video. So first, for some reason, this says Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, but I'm pretty sure it's Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. I don't know why the name was weird there. But yeah, so Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. I have a big problem with this card, but let me read it out for you guys real quick. So it's a level seven uh, light warrior effect monster. You can only use one, two, three effects per once per turn. Okay. When the opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand into vent's position. If you do, it cannot be destroyed in battle. So first of all, it has a weird battle phase effect where you're playing Neos and you want to be able to win anyways, but also it just summons itself on your opponent's battle phase. Really random effect. If this card is special summoned, you can add a spell or trap that mentions hero monster in its name, or you can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand. That's not bad, okay? You can get the search off of this, which is not bad when it's special summon, but again, you're really relying on drawing this card and your opponent attacking, and then you being able to summon this card, right? Now, keep in mind, a lot of the times, if you're talking about casual Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh in general, your opponent is going to have at least a single negate. So even if they're going to the battle phase and you activate this card, they can probably negate it before it hits the field, okay? That's why this card is like, okay, cool, but it doesn't really do anything. Third effect is during your main phase, you can shuffle this card into your deck, and if you do special summon one elemental hero normal monster from your deck. So... Do you guys automatically see the problem with this card? Is it supposed to summon the regular Neos? That's the whole point of the card. Is like you're supposed to summon it, search a spell card or a trap card, and then on your turn, you bounce it back to your deck and you summon a regular vanilla Neos. But the problem is, is now you have to run brick vanilla heroes in your main deck. And on top of that, if you end up drawing into that vanilla hero, 
this only summons from your deck, not your hand. Like I feel like every single time I, I I'm bringing I'm reading one of these cards, it, like it just it just gets worse. You know what I mean? So this card on top of it having this weird summoning mechanic or weird summoning condition, it also requires you to run bricks in your deck. And on top of that, like they could have easily made this card decent by just saying that this card counts as elemental hero Neos when it's on the field. You know how like cyber dragons have that effect where it's like cyber dragon core, you summon it, it counts as cyber dragon on the field. Well, why doesn't spirit of Neos just count as Neos on the field? Because this way you can actually summon your fusion monsters with this card, a card that specials itself out. Even though I think the special summoning condition is not great and it's, it's still reliant on your opponent's battle phase, whatever, whatever. It's kind of like on top of it, have it being kind of hard to summon or being only able to be summoned in these weird situations. It doesn't even do anything afterwards. Like, sure, you get to search a spell card if it goes through, first of all, but it doesn't even count as a Neos. So now you have to run a brick Neos in your deck that you hope not to draw, and then you can summon from your deck. So, like, whatever. This card's alright. I mean, no, it's not alright. It's bad. Alright, so, uh, yeah. So here's that. So here are the rest of the cards. I'm not gonna lie, though. One, the one thing I will say is the artworks on some of these cards are beautiful. The artworks, I, I cannot argue with. But the cards themselves... A little questionable all right so elemental hero shining neo swingman again so this is what i found kind of weird in general is that they kind of mix and you guys will see for the rest of the cards here is they mix neos neo spatian and elemental hero all into one thing and i think that's what makes these cards really really awkward on top of that i don't know why they're stuck with the shining flame wingman or flare wingman when shining flare wingman wasn't even the ace monster it was just regular flame wingman and then Neos. So I don't know. That's just maybe a personal thing. But in terms of the card, its materials are an elemental hero Neos, specifically an elemental hero Neos. And again, this is what I mean by if that spirit of Neos card counted as a Neos on field, it would be at least kind of okay. But now you have to run the vanilla brick Neos in your deck, right? So elemental hero Neos plus one wingman fusion monster. So not just any fusion monster, it has to be a wingman, aka flame wingman or a shining flare wingman. So here's what I don't understand. If you want to make Wingman support, I don't know why they didn't just retrain Flame Wingman in itself, but they wanted to do it this way. So it must be Fusion Summoned. And then if this card is Special Summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes on the field. So it's essentially made to be going second card to pop cards your opponent controls and trying to go for game here, which is kind of cool. But again, you have to have multiple monsters on the field and they all have to have different attributes for this. This is a light monster in its own. So you have to have other ones outside of light uh, to get this effect off. Essentially, you can pop one when he's summoned because he's a light. So as soon as he's summoned, even if he's the only card, you get to pop a card. Cool, that's not bad. Gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. This is kind of in tribute to Shining Flare Wingman where it gains 300 for each elemental hero. So it's not bad and it can't be destroyed by card effects. Again, that's not a bad effect. Like some of these effects aren't horrible. It's just more like the summoning condition on this is wild. If this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. Again, that's just a Flare Wingman kind of thing. So it kind of shares the effect of just all the Flame Wingmans uh, just to get, stuff, get a free pop essentially on summon. But again, this card is not horrible. It's actually one of the better cards in terms of effects. But again, the summoning like requirements are just super super hard for this then we're moving on here to cross keeper which what i think is actually the best card out of all the support outside of the wake up your e-hero this card is one of the best cards but the only problem with this card is that it's not a neo spatian or a hero in its name okay and what why that's really important is because you guys will see the effect but it's a non-searchable card i guess you could argue rota because it's a warrior but you have to draw one of rota but in general it's kind of like this card is not bad it's just not searchable it's just a weird name in your deck you can't even send it off neos fusion or stuff like that because i'm trying to consider some of the older support too and if you think about it, if this card said a Neos plus a level six or higher like elemental hero monster where you could do it kind of like the DPE where you can run like a, a blade edge and a Neos, let's say, right? You can at least Neos fusion this out. You can't Neos fusion this out because it needs a wingman monster specifically, which are all in your extra deck right so again that's just what i want to talk about this card is pretty good if it worked with neos fusion it would be really good but again it doesn't because it doesn't have hero in the name uh you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard special summon one elemental hero or neo spatial monster from your hand or graveyard but if it's summoned from the graveyard the effects are negated so essentially you can just send the card to special summon a card average effect here but this is a really really good effect but again it's kind of hard to get this to the graveyard if you don't hard draw it if you special summon an elemental hero fusion monster while this card is in your graveyard you can banish this card draw two cards place one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck now this card is insane it fixes your hands and like that effect i mean i should say is insane because it fixes your hands and it's really easy to get off if it was a hero monster if you could get it to the graveyard easily it's something you have to hard draw. It's something that you have to hope you draw with another hero in your hand or specifically an elemental hero. That's the problem. You can't even use it for Omni heroes that much because unless you have a Stratos in your hand and I guess what's the other elemental heroes that people run like Shadow Mist, this card doesn't do anything, right? So yeah, 
the, this is why it's kind of like, man, like, do you see what I mean? Like, in theory, some of these effects are not bad, but nothing just works together. It doesn't synergize, right? And don't get me wrong, if you guys have watched the GX anime, or if you guys know the old GX cards, I'm pretty sure there's another card called, like, Cross Crusader or something like that, which was an original Neo Spatian support. Um, so I understand why this is kind of like a retrain of that card, but again, the reason the, that card is not playable is because it's not a Neo Spatian by name, it's not an Elemental Hero by name, so it's just a random card, right? So Engage Neo Space is actually not a bad card. This card is actually pretty good as well. Well, but again, you guys are going to see the awkwardness of this card. So you can only activate this card once per turn, whatever, whatever. You cannot special summon monster from the extra deck. The turn you activate this card, except fusion monster. So automatically it locks you into the fusion monster. It's not even after you use this card. It's the turn you use this card, you can't use it. So you can send one Neo Spatial monster and one elemental hero monster to the graveyard. One from your hand and one from your deck. AKA you have to have a hero in your hand and you have to an elemental hero, by the way, and not just any hero, an elemental hero from your hand or a Neo Spatial in your hand. Send one from your hand and one from your deck. Special summon a Neo Spatial monster or one level five or higher elemental hero monster from your deck if this elemental hero neos it gains a thousand attack and if you do add a polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand so it searches you polymerization which is kind of nice which again a lot of the cards you guys are going to see are going to search polymerization but again it's really it's weird they're trying to make it focused around elemental hero neos but if you're summoning and searching all these neos cards or the uh, or this elemental hero neos specifically i should say what in it, it doesn't synergize like so this card wants to special summon a neos from your deck but your spirit of neos also wants to special summon a neos from deck so now you have to run multiple neos multiple vanilla brick monsters oh but you can you can you can play around that because if you open the neos you can send the cross keeper to summon the neos wait but now i have to draw the neos which is a vanilla and a brick and i have to draw the cross keeper in my hand do you guys kind of see what I'm trying to get with this? It's like the effects in theory are not bad, but it just doesn't work together, right? Anyway, so this is one of the better cards as well here. But again, it has the same problem as all the other support. So it's an instant fusion, essentially. Pay a thousand life points, special summon a level seven or lower, elemental hero, or neo spatial monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. But if you do not have elemental hero neos on your side of the field or in your graveyard, so you have to have neos in your field or your graveyard, the summon monster cannot attack and its effects are negated. Also return it to the extra deck during the end phase. Okay, so you need the neos on the field or in the graveyard for this effect to be kind of relevant. More than anything, it gives you the free special summon from your, from your extra deck, which is not bad. And again, this card is kind of one of those cards, I think that it's supposed to summon your flame wing man so that when you have a neos on the field you can make the neos shine or what is it called shining neos wingman i think you can do that yeah so i think that's what the play is kind of supposed to be it's like you activate the instant fusion you summon the flame wingman because i believe flame wingman is level seven so you summon the flame wingman then you use the neos that's on your side of the field and the flame wingman into this but again you you also have to have polymerization for this which means you have to have activated one of these other effects to search the polymerization which also like you know what i mean it's all over the place the whole deck is supposed to be centered around summoning neos and having neos on your side of the field but you're also stuck on like playing a bunch of bricks in your deck for this you know what i mean so again this card is really good because it's a free instant fusion and i think that's the best part about this card is the fact that you can get an instant fusion for the deck maybe if we get more support this card like this card has potential to be busted to be honest with you this card has potential to be insanely good if we get future support but for now again it, like it makes sense for what the deck is trying to do but it doesn't the deck doesn't do anything i hate to say it like I, I really hate to say it because i'm such a hero fan you guys know how much of a hero lover i am but like i hate when i see these kind of things because it's kind of like wow this has so much potential but konami ruined it kind of thing all right so less complaining more back to the cards we only have a few cards left en wave so you can only use a first and second effect once per turn if your elemental hero monster is used as a material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or is banished you can special summon one neo spatial monster or one elemental hero neos from your deck again it comes down to special summoning neos but again you guys can see the problem with this is that like you have to have polymerization in your hand with two hero monsters you have to be able to fuse them together you also have to have this in your hand activate this you have to fusion summon get the neos to your side of the field and it's kind of weird now the thing is they didn't retrain a lot of the old fusions so the problem is like summoning a lot of the fusions you have to summon something like sunriser i guess that's more generic because like you can't be summoning flame wingman and stuff unless you randomly open a bersinatrix and an avion in your hand which again is really really awkward so that's what i mean by kind of like it's weird that they made the shining neos wingman specifically a wingman fusion you know what i mean if they made it any neos fusion or any elemental hero fusion i should say then it would make a lot more sense but Again, with this, it's kind of awkward. If a Neo Spatial Monster and or Elemental Hero Monster is shuffled from your field or your graveyard into your deck, or your extra deck, you can special summon one Elemental Hero Monster from your graveyard. This effect, I, I don't see, even if this card ever saw play, I don't think this effect would ever come up, or very rarely come up, but I guess it's a floating effect, right? 
Fusion Exceed here. This card, again, the artwork on this is beautiful, but uh, you can only activate one of this card's names per turn. Target a face up monster on the field, reveal one elemental hero monster, one Neo Space Chain monster, or one level 10 monster from your hand, deck, or extra deck. And if you use the targeted monster as fusion material this turn, you can treat its name as the revealed monster. So, first things first is this is kind of like one of those cards where it's kind of like, oh, okay, wait, I don't have a wingman on my side of the field, okay? What I could do is if I have like just a random Neo Space Chain on my side of the field, I can make that count as a wingman fusion monster and then use the Neos and that to make my shining Neo Swingman. But again, you still have to have polymerization, right? Also, if you have Elemental Hero Neos on your side of the field and or in your graveyard, send the revealed monster to the graveyard. Otherwise, if it was revealed from the hand, shuffle it to the deck. Because the fact that it can send something like a wingman from your extra deck to your graveyard, and then that you can use for Miracle Fusion, which is not bad. Now, you guys might be thinking like, hey, this card works really well with the new fusion monster. It's like, okay, but now I have to be running a bunch of bricks in my deck for these cards to resolve properly. Do you know what I mean? You have to have a monster on your side of the field, first of all. So it could be on your opponent's side of the field, by the way, as well, because it just says target one face-up monster on the field in general. So if you have something like super polymerization, because if you guys don't know, this artwork references the uh, anime where I think Jaden used super poly to make rainbow Neos. So I think in general, I think this was supposed to be like, hey, if you have super poly, you can do this. Of course, if you have something like polymerization stuff, you can do this as well. But you have to have your own monster on your side of the field, right? And the last card, here's the worst thing about the last card. The last card is actually a really good effect. The problem is it's a trap card. It's so weird because, it, Konami, are you making this an OTK deck? Because all the fusion monsters help you pop cards and destroy cards and do a lot of damage and have a lot of attack points, but you make this card a trap card, which means you want us to go first to set it up? This is, this is the part that kind of annoys me with this, right? So you can special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists a hero monster as a material by placing the materials listed on it on the bottom of the deck in any order from among cards from your hand, field, or graveyard, or your face-up banished cards, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you placed Elemental Hero Neos, the summoned monster cannot be returned to the extra deck. Okay, so just to summarize that effect real quickly, I know that kind of sounded complicated. To summarize the effect really quickly is essentially, it's a fusion like card, like something like polymerization, but instead of putting the cards into the graveyard, you can use your cards in your field, graveyard, or your banished zone, um, and then put them on the bottom of your deck, and then you can summon the fusion monster. But again, so you mean that like I have to go first and I have to set this up? Like I feel like if this card said it had an effect, even if it had just the most basic effect where if you control a face up elemental hero Neos, so you can activate this from your hand. That would be way better, but it's not, it's not good. So yeah, I know I've been talking for like approximately 20 minutes, guys. Like again, I, I just had a lot to say. I wanted to go by like card by card to explain to you guys because I feel like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people actually on the last video when they saw it were in agreement with me and were saying like hey like you're right this is very disappointing but the thing is a lot of people on twitter were kind of like really excited and i don't mean to like hate like again i said this at the beginning of the video and i'll say it again i don't mean to hate on like casual players or casual play i love bro if you look at my whole channel it's rogue deck profiles left right and center i do the occasional meta deck profile but i think my last deck profiles were like trickstar and phantasm spiral like I, I love rogue. I love casual, bro. That's it's fun. But how is it supposed to be fun if it, there's no like you can't play? And like now you have to run these awkward ratios of elemental hero cards and neos cards and and neo spatian cards and you have to have a lot of bricks. Again, if you think about it in a general sense, I feel like a card like this is not bad in something like Omni Hero. Again, just as a miracle fusion target really here. Uh, but here, like, who is using these cards, to be honest with you? This card has so much potential. If they just said Elemental Hero Neos and one Elemental Hero card or monster or whatever, this would have had so much potential to be played. But, like, how are you sending a, a, a wingman to the graveyard for Miracle Fusion or summoning a wingman? And, like, you guys might be like, oh, well, you can use in your Fusion Exceed, which pretty much does that for you. It's like, okay, but now I have to also have Fusion Exceed. Oh, well, you can use Instant Contact, which you can summon a Flint Wingman out. Okay, but now I still have to have Polymerization for it because it's not going to be in my graveyard. So, because it's not going to be in my graveyard, I can't use Miracle Fusion for it. So, gah! I wish it was better. I really wish this was better. I hate to break it to you guys. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you. I know this was kind of a longer video. I just really wanted to explain every single card to go a little bit more in depth as to why it's like... Some of these effects are good. I won't even lie to you guys. Some of these effects are not bad, but it just doesn't synergize with anything. That's the biggest problem I have with it. But thank you guys for watching. As you guys can see, all these memes here. I'm just looking at them now. And so Neos has Excel Synchro. That's really funny. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. That's Banko signing up. Peace.
Get up, get up, we want you to get on 